Well, his motto is do something good for someone every day. Outgoing Secretary of State Jesse White is arguably one of the most popular elected officials in Illinois with a career that spanned decades, not to mention his world famous Jesse White tumblers. He's Illinois' longest serving Secretary of State and the first African American to hold the office. Next week, though, he officially retires from political life. CBS News' Jim Williams recently spent some time with Secretary White, starting at the place where his life in Chicago began. So this was home. Yeah, Jim, when I moved in from Alton, Illinois, we moved to a, a building that was here. It was about four stories high. I lived on the third floor. On a cold Wednesday morning, Jesse White, no coat for him, takes us back to the near north side and the stretch of Division Street where he was raised with family and neighbors who helped form his future. A lot has changed. Oh, you bet. Was this a good place to grow up? It's a wonderful place to grow up. A lot of Italians, uh, people of diverse ethnic backgrounds. We got along well. We loved each other. We supported each other. Sports also played a huge role in White's life. Gymnastics at Seward Park, softball, basketball, and so talented in baseball, he earned a spot in the Chicago Cubs minor league system where, like his school days, he was in a small minority of African Americans. You have lived through some challenging racial times in this country's history, in Chicago's history. How have you managed to navigate all of that? Most of my life I've been involved with an integrated environment. There's this big, wide, wonderful world out there. I know that if you are to function in it, you have to figure out a way to get along with one another. Those early lessons kept White strong when he went south for college to Alabama State. He found he couldn't get a seat in the front of the bus or at a restaurant. He says a young local pastor helped guide him, Martin Luther King Jr. We learned a lot from him, a man who had a giving and a caring spirit and left an everlasting impression upon me. White later returned home and taught grade school in Chicago. Politics, though, called. And in his first try for public office, he was elected state representative in 1974, winning handily in a district that was 85% white. Tell me I cannot achieve. My attitude is, watch me. Doubters in his own party watched as White was elected Cook County Recorder of Deeds in 1992 and 1996. And they watched again when he first ran for Illinois Secretary of State in 1998 when I was told I had to waste my time, my efforts and my energies to try to become the Secretary of State. I said, watch me, and I averaged 14 to 16 events every day. White says his first goal on the new job was change. When I came to this office, the office was under a cloud of controversy. Yes. Driver's licenses were being sold. Employees were required to buy fundraising tickets, do political work. White says he put a quick end to all of that he also expanded the state's organ donation program and created stricter provisions for teen drivers. And we've saved a lot of lives as a result of And White says he has saved lives in another way, keeping kids on the straight and narrow with the famed Jesse White Tumbling Team, a group he founded back in 1959. I never could have, would I have imagined that I would have been working as a volunteer in a program for 64 years with over 18,500 young people. Come on, man, come on, keep moving. The rules are strict, and former Tumblr, now coach Emmanuel McGee, says Mr. White is all for tough love. Go. We have to be on time, uh, he's military, so and to be early is to be on time, and so uh, he drills that uh, to this day. Peter, how you doing? Good to see you. Good Good to see you. A friend of 40 years, Peter Birnbaum, uh, you know, says while Jesse White is retiring from office, he'll be busier than ever helping friends, neighbors, and people he's never even met. He's able to do these things because he takes just a very uh, simple, pragmatic, and thoughtful approach to life, which at its core is being of service to others, and particularly uh, the most vulnerable children among us. Even at age 88. I've enjoyed experiences that I've, things that I've done in life, places where I've gone, the work that I've been involved with. I just have had a wonderful ride.
What an incredible man and career. And there's one more thing we want to show you and tell you about Jesse White. Check out these photos. After college, he was an Army paratrooper and jumped out of airplanes a total of 35 times. Mr. White loves to talk about it to this day. Wow. Yeah, he's a legend for sure. So much history there. I just want to give a shout out to Jim Williams, Anita Caston, the Absolutely. producer of that, uh, for the work they put into giving us such a, a really in-depth look back. Well done, well done to Jesse White.